If you're not fond of the visual programming system that comes with the LEGO NXT, this video will show you an alternative solution. This is a picture of the LEGO robot that we'll be using. You'll notice here in the front, at the bottom, there are three line sensors, a bumper sensor on the very front, a ranging sensor here at the top, and a sound sensor in the back. The ranging sensor can be moved by this gear train and a motor, and two other motors move the main wheels. Look at this simple robot basic program. The first line includes the Lego library that does all the work for us. The call calls the Lego init and passes it the number of the Bluetooth port that the Lego robot has been set to. The next line calls Lego drive motors and sets both the left and right wheel to a fast speed. Then we wait for 300 milliseconds, 3000 milliseconds. Then we call the Lego drive motors again to stop both motors. If we run this program, let's see what it does. Now that you've seen how easy it is to control the robot, let's change the program. We're going to change the third line. It did say to drive the motors fast and fast. We're now going to make it fast and slow. That is slowing down the right wheel. Let's watch what happens. Now that we've seen how easy it is to control the robot, let's change the third line again. This time we'll make the right wheel move faster than the left wheel. In both of the previous examples, we were making one motor go fast and one go slow. In this example, let's stop the right motor completely so that it makes a very fast turn to the right. Let's look now at how these simple commands can do something interesting. In this program, we're again initializing the, the LEGO subroutines, but we're then initializing the LEGO line sensor, which is on port 2 of the NXT robot. Then an endless while loop calls the line sensor routine and puts either a 1 or a 0 into the variable A, indicating whether it sees a line or not. What we're doing then is if we see the line, we're making the robot turn to the right. If we don't see the line, we're turning it back to the left using the fast, slow, and slow, fast methods. Now in this way, case, since the robot is making very slow turns, it'll be able to follow a line unless it gets to a very sharp turn in the line. Let's watch it and see what happens. In order to prevent our robot from losing the line, let's make it make faster turns. Notice inside the loop, now we're using fast stop and stop fast instead of the slow, so that the robot will make a very quick turn back towards the line, or back away from the line, depending on the value of the sensor. Let's see it in action. The robot will wobble a little bit this time because it's making very quick turns but it will not lose the line. Notice how wobbly the robot is. We could solve this by changing the speeds or even by using multiple sensors. Remember we have three line sensors on the front. If we used all three, we'd be able to have the robot turn faster when it's starting to lose the line and turn slower when the line is moving fairly smoothly. Here's another interesting aspect to this programming system. Notice the first line, instead of including the LEGO library, it includes the LEGO simulation library. 
Also, the next line does a go sub to draw line. There is a special draw line subroutine in the library. If we run this program, which is exactly like the previous program, except for the simulation library, we will see the same program move the robot in the exact same way as it did before, but in simulation. Notice it even has the slight wobble. If you have a LEGO NXT system and would like to program it with this methodology instead of using the visual programming system that came with it, you can get a free copy of Robot Basic from robotbasic.com. When you use this system, you don't even have to download programs to the LEGO. You simply change the programs on the PC as you've seen here, and the LEGO robot will respond immediately. You can also use the simulation at home when you don't have the robot. Students can each have their own copy. Makes it very easy for schools because instead of buying one robot for every student, they only need one robot for the entire class. If you're pretty good at programming, you can download the source code for the library and just read through it and understand how to use it. If you're new to programming though, we do have a book that makes it easy for you to learn how to program the LEGO XT using these technologies. To get more information on the book, just visit the robotbasic.com and go to the hardware tab and you'll see this book and many others that show how Robot Basic can be used to control a wide variety of robots or to control simulations.